Hello there Spartans and welcome to an exciting update video on Blade and Sorcery. We just got U12.2 and with it comes a massive list of really great bug fixes that I'm going to be going through and one of them is especially good for me. So let's just jump straight into the first one which is a really important one and that is Index finally can swim. Let's go test this out. So we're going to jump down into the ocean here and let's just try... Oh. I feel like I'm struggling a little bit, but index players can indeed swim now, which is really good. Like it's kind of working. Uh -huh. Now I'm not having the best time, but it's working better than it did before, which is important. We can swim, it's very tiring, but it's very fun, and I love it. And you know what? <laughs> it doesn't feel all that bad. It's definitely not as good as the, the quest swimming, definitely not. It just doesn't feel like there's as much force behind it as there should be. But, it's definitely better. So, with that being said, let's go and check out ugh, the other bug fixes. So our first bug fix is something in Nomad. So for you Nomad players, they have fixed the home mirror black artifacts. So that's a really good little thing. It's just a visual bug that is nice that they've fixed. Now, another thing that's been fixed for everyone is the fact that player eyes, the way they follow now, is now fixed so it works in the mirror. So we can go check that out now. And it looks like, yes, the player eyes are now following properly in the mirror. That's awesome. Our next bug fix is the fact that B Haptics now loads its plugin properly. That's great. That's just something if people have invested that kind of money into B Haptics, then you're really going to want it to work. So that's awesome. Another bug's been fixed where the original item isn't despawning after the item breaks on a breakable. Now, I haven't experienced that myself, but it is great that that is fixed for anyone who has been doing that. I can imagine it's weird to just see particles spawning out of a non broken item. I assure that is just strange. So. That's another great fix. So they've also fixed an issue where the player's inventory, the one that you open up from your chest, is now saving when you go to the home. It wasn't saving before, but now it is, which is awesome. So now we can store things while we're away, come back here, and they'll be safe for next time. There's an issue that's been fixed where broken mod asset bundles were causing the, the game to just freeze and loading. Now that doesn't happen anymore, it will just, I assume, ignore that mod or skip past that mod if it's broken, which is fantastic. Another thing that's been changed is they've removed the dirt from the home mirror and change the distortion effect so it just looks a lot cleaner which I think is perfect. There's also been a fix for the mod options categories where now you will see it in your selected language which is good for people who just weren't native English speakers I feel like that is an important fix. A lot of fixes for the sewer maintenance level including they fix some weird lighting and some seams in the areas of the level. They fix the skybox and some weird water behavior. I haven't seen that but I'm sure there is some. They fixed clipping issues with the male mercenary gloves, which is fantastic because I do love those gloves a lot. And finally, they fixed long mod options menus overlapping with other parts of the menu, which is really important to just have that smooth menu layout. And that is all the bug fixes. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And if you've experienced any bugs after this update, go to the Blade and Sorcery Discord and leave a bug report. The developers always appreciate that stuff. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later in a bit.